still hate that. Like, I'm never going to get over the recording in progress. Dear idiots. One of your next updates, when, the thing, when you have to go like this to get through all the updates and stuff, can you maybe get rid of that? I like who's back. Back again. I'm talking about myself. Oh, I know. All right. I mean, there are other people back that are that are probably more important than me in, in the pro wrestling scene. Pro, considering I said pro wrestling, not sports entertainment. There's a difference. Um, but Very that was harsh. exciting. But you know, got a got a whole bunch of craziness going on this weekend. But, uh, whether yep. you're a wrestling fan, whether you're a political guy, or or just a plain Jane uh, worldly gobbledygook that's going on but um we're uh, here to talk about wrestling and, and a whole bunch talk of other about the gobbledygook yeah please God. Depends. there's there's different levels of gobbledygook and in different categories hey, hey but the sudden if i turn around and suddenly there's a fucking egg on the stage at a wrestling show like i'm coming to pennsylvania and punching you directly in the face of the gobbledygooker why not him too what right there going hell bring him back yeah, we need you need to get yourself, you need to get yourself a hamburger, one of those. I wonder if he's got one. I don't think I'd he does, it. but I'd buy a hamburger egg of the gobble in the gobbledygooker. I'd, I'd do it. Don't know where I'd hang it, but I'd do it. But if we're gonna talk about exciting things that happened around the rest of the world, um, I mean, Punk coming back was big, but yeah. for everyone, like that was bigger. Very, than very yeah. good, very good promo. Yes, but. All the people, but well, that's the biggest pop I've ever heard. One, Triple H is in Madison Square Garden. It was bigger. Yeah. Um, two, like this, comparing it to like. Well, giving the acoustic, when trying to compare yeah. the acoustics of different arenas. Yeah, but like, you get like, and they're all like, oh, it wasn't as big as, you know, Becky Arena. One, do you see the size of a Legion Stadium? Like, noise goes that way. And there's a whole lot of that way above all those people. So we the, all, Legion Stadium, that's where they can open and close the top, right? Yeah, I think they, they can. can. They, they're uh, all kinds of fancy. Yeah. 51,000 people, like, to, but to the rafters. Like, there's a lot of place for that room to go, which is why when they do those shows in really big arenas, they're like, it's the weirdest thing ever because it takes so long for the yeah, it just to actually get to them. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't, it seemed very quiet last night. No, <laughs> it gave them a, it gave them the, it gave that's them the first the, time they've done a, they've done a, an event there anyway wrestling wise so i mean what do you expect you know now people will know hey yeah. but they've done so many big arenas like they know what's gonna happen like that was that that right there was them just trying to get as big of a building as humanly possible so they but can yeah, cram fifty one thousand people in there if all else fails and uh you know not enough noise uh we can always uh pump crowd noise into uh muffle out we want why a chance during that alexa bliss match but you know what else is new but um yeah, but all the people comparing the two, sorry. Yeah. Guess what? One, building. You know, like, it's, again, acoustics. Two, we all knew Becky was coming back sooner or later. We all knew Brock was going to come back sooner or later. And again, in building, the Death Star out there. Like, and maybe it's just because it's where the Raiders play and people aren't used to actually having a reason to cheer inside of that building. I don't know. I know I don't have a reason to cheer for those expletives even with the hat right there for them they still suck which by, which by the way that was a pretty cool raiders uh yep take that was on the but like we were like it's like like we all knew they were coming back like we literally just a matter of time punk i mean for how where he was before i mean for him to even be like doing it is a big thing in three it was his hometown like oh so much like it was his home down like every single person he ever like knew it all like you saw there was his sister that was there in the front row to give her like there was a lot more hope like please god like don't swerve us and actually have him come out like i was gonna blow the roof off the damn place you know so so there people i'm pretty sure becky got it well, I, also, I also read that tony khan had uh talked to the the crowd before the event actually started so I don't know exactly what was said, but probably make sure you make a ton of noise. And blow the roof off of this bitch. Pretty much. That'll put butts in seats. You're welcome, Tony. Yeah, you know. Javon. Also, also put more butts in seats. Freaking uh, Bryanson, and uh, it's probably inevitable, but I'm sure uh, Mr. Rotunda will sign with AEW. I don't. Danielson. 
Daniel son. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sooner or later. Uh, I mean, I mean, I got cable, so like, I got to figure out a way to at least watch AEW. I mean, Vince, Vince had to just give no, up. No offense this point. to the WWE product, but I can just read results, and I'm reading the same thing over and over every week. You know, like, so. Vince had to have given up. Like, he couldn't get over. I mean, Punk was doing a WWE show on Fox. Like, he had, like, that's at least saying, "Hey, what? I'm open to something." And you know, it probably came down to Vince couldn't fuck. He just couldn't be an adult. We all know that there's a hard time doing that. And, you know, like, like that was the opening. Like, and he let him go. Alistair, Buddy. I mean. I saw something with Buddy. He's doing some stuff on the Indies. Say now Punk's there. I mean, but, like, Strowman's going to be somewhere. Bray's going somewhere. And I read, I read another article. I read a lot last night during the pay-per-view. What led to uh, Punk signing with AEW is how they handled the Brody Lee illness situation that's what really um capped off him signing about, about keeping it quiet keeping it respectful when it did happen um i mean aw hands down with personal issues does a really great job of letting you know something's up but not going too far into it where it, it goes to be too informational um yeah, so, just for the simple fact but that's yeah. what that's what punk's final decision was on is how they handled that and how they helped the family out and, and stuff like that. Well, I said it was, it's just good to see him, but to answer your question on the thing, yeah, you know, on the page, no offense to punk coming back, seeing the look on edge's face before he got into, you know, oh, when, yeah. he came, when he came out for that rumble, sorry, that one wins in the bad oh, yeah, emotions no, and all that. Hands, hands down. I agree. Punks out there, and so I mean, Edge. I mean, the look on his like he was about. Yeah. Well, to, I mean, give it a, he was about to bubble. Edge, Edge had to medically retire though, too, so that makes uh, uh you know, emotional yeah, regardless, a, 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 li- a little higher even, level. Even if he didn't have to, him coming back out there and just to look on that face, regardless of how it was compared to yeah. Punks, Punks out there and soaked in, Edge looked like he was about to like just break down into tears, and then bang. No offense, TDP. He bent over, he got in position. Well, he was ready to go after that. But yeah, that one won for the emotion. His edge looked like he was about to lose it completely. About to go from the rated R stupid. Well, it is the PG era, isn't it? Now, with the way, again, when Edge came back, he promised to tell good stories. And yeah. he, he is delivering oh, yeah. all cylinders. Like, I'm glad he found. I, we're going to be all over that. We're not going to go. Well, over I'm trying there. to go in order. So I'm yeah, trying not to go. Yes. You know, no, we're going in order. Damn it. I wrote it down in order. I'm going over in order. It's, all it's I'm saying a, is. It's called a pen and check it off as we go. And it's, it's called. I don't want to be sitting here floating back and forth between papers there, dick face. Yeah. See? My, hey, you left for a couple weeks. I get to call the shots today, mother. And I'm out of coffee. I had to There's say lines. Cool. So there. All I'm saying is that emotion one. Yeah. He went from the P- rated R superstar to like the rated PG superstar to edge light. Let's just go with that if he started crying. So that one wins that. Brock's hair wins the night. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, John Cena wins the night. Yeah. We'll get that, but as we all saw, I mean, I'm sure you saw the video. If I saw the video, poor guy. Yeah. That's what I was saying as it was going off the air, though. Like, run, John. Run. But before we piss me off anymore, one, RK Bro won. I know. Yep. Shocker. Bro. Shocker. Um, I was hoping bigger thing, but Biggie got his briefcase back. I was hoping for... Uh, I don't think that's going to... You know, I think they're going to save that for the Rumble. Man. If, they, if, they, if, they, if they back themselves into a corner like they continuously to do with, well, oh, now we have Lesnar and, and Roman. That'll, that'll at least back that off, give Roman some time. I think, I think they'll let Roman hit the year mark, and then maybe we're thinking Survivor Series. Um, Ish. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I think they'll let Roman hit the mark. Lesnar takes a title off of Roman, and then we get 
Lesnar and Lashley because you know how champions from each brand go at it, but for non-titles anyway. So that makes sense. Like you guys finally get the match you wanted. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's about the only logical way. And then you have a paper for you. You don't have to worry about really any buildup. You know, it makes it pretty easy. It's the Rock's 25th anniversary. I'm sure uh, old Dwayne will get thrown in there somehow. Uh, um, you know, it's or not. I don't know. He doesn't come back. People will riot. I'm sure. I'm sure he'll make an appearance at Survivor Series. It's it's 25th anniversary. It's inevitable. I mean, look what they did with Triple H and all that stuff in his 25th anniversary. Hey, hey, hey. that's Triple H. So let's not go and get ahead of ourselves. Know. Right? You know, he kind of gets. You know, everyone else is like here. So like he gets thrown like way up here just because. Well, yeah. it's him. Like he, they made a bigger deal out of him. Than anyone. I mean, Taker had a bunch of stuff put on the network, but he did not get the amount of publicity and the yeah. stuff like that. But they'll do something. I mean, but please, God, just let us have the Lesnar Lashley match. Like, we don't have to hear about it anymore after that until you guys stink up the joint. But that's a whole other story. But, or you could be, or you could be Vince at the last minute and go, "Hey, let's have a Survivor Series match," and then Roman would be team captain and Rock would be team captain the other team, and then that's how they protect the Rock from being injured. Uh, that way, you get your Roman versus Rock match uh, probably last minute instead of trying to finagle something with WrestleMania because that's going to be hard as hell, depending on where we go uh, to bring up the political crap. But depending on where we go with all this, you know, hubbub that's probably going to happen again, and we're going to be wearing masks again and all the other crap. So you. Vince might get, get an inch and say, let's do it before it happens again and give them the live crowd, the Rock versus Roman. Could be possible. I don't know. I think uh, right now, um, I think Vince is playing it by ear. I mean, look, not to throw out another sidebar, but um, the Saudi Arabia pay-per-view, not don't, appropriate right now. Don't. Not appropriate. Don't worry. Like, why? I was typing as yours came in. You're going to send them. Yeah. Saudi Arabia, right now. Yeah. Like literally, like when you shared that article on your feed, and then the, the then the commercial came up for Saudi Arabia. Like, ah, that escalated quickly. Like, <laughs> how do you think I felt? I'm like trying that. to keep your two shows separate, but that that was one All point right. that it just there's I there's see. so much going on in the world, like. Again, I think Vince is going to throw some haphazardly shit in, you know, at the last minute and try to get his milk what he can before all these, I'm assuming, would be all the mandates that go back in. We don't have live crowds again, just a bunch of bull. But anyways, moving on to the paper. We're going to get into it. One. Yeah. That's, Vince is doing the world dirty on that one, especially with how bad it, like last time, and they tried to leave was. Um, Two. Yeah. Yeah. More kids died of the seasonal flu in 2019 than have died of COVID in almost two years. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we still have like a 99% survival rate. I think less than 1% of the world's population has even caught it. You know, I don't want to go there, but you know yeah like why would you why and you know i wouldn't blame any of the superstars if they don't none of them want to go oh there you go point one i mean they have, a choice. they have a choice i mean they've given they've been given choices ever since yeah. they had did the saudi deal so like i want to know who's crazy enough point one seven percent of the world's population has caught covid but yet we're about to shut everything down again so we're all screwed that's why they crammed as many people in that building as they could Aaron Lewis, he's my hero. Love that guy. Oh, I I don't know how he hasn't got, like, mm, someone's going after him. Um, But that Saudi deal, man, like, that's... Yeah, like, now is not the time. Incoming. Like, it's really not... I mean, we can always, we can always bring the Saudi Arabian people to... to... To, to our, our country so they can watch it and then we'll send it back. And I mean, we're already wasting money on other stuff that, you know, has been said and mentioned, but let's, let's focus on the pay-per-view because I'm going to start getting myself going here. But, I'm going to keep going and we're not going to talk hey, about right. Hey, that's, that's why I do my thing. You know, I have different outlets last week. Sorry, this week, I guess I was on. Yeah. Uh, 
But um, yeah, I think it's just a shitty idea. But like with everything, was, how, how the hell are you still announcing it? Like that's just. It's a, so we covered we covered Biggie and Corbin and RK Bro. What was the next? Hey, well, we saw we saw RK Bro coming. Now, I mean, at least I mean they yeah. pulled the trigger. Uh, they yeah, that's still, good. They still protected Amos, so they could drag that out for another pay per view or two. Yeah, because the one that you, lost. You text me like, who, you're like, who did they pin? I said it was AJ, which I kind of figured that would, you know. Yeah, I figured they weren't going to stop the monster. Um, no. So we'll see what they do. I mean, you know, it's going to get at least another pay per view or two out of it, like because yeah. that's what they do. Um, it's what I, I, don't do. know what do. I don't know what they're going to do with Amos, though. You sure, I, like Mark Henry really works for AEW and not here? Why? They're just going to drag it on for another couple of pay-per-views. What, it's what they do. It's going to be, I don't know. But yeah. I just think that RK Bro, like, though, just in general works better as yeah. tag champs because they can, like, who the hell are you going to believe? It's like, I mean, AJ isn't a short little guy by any means. I mean, the Moss is just, yeah. like, nine feet tall. Like, who the hell are they going to honestly believe? It's like the Nia Jackson chain of thing. Yeah. And like, what? The Riot Squad's going after him. Like, yeah. Ruby. Now they'll probably throw a moss in with you know a whole bunch of you know up and coming people that give them not, some great matches. Not trying, and, not trying to know. be a dick, but Ruby. Plus, like Liv, going against this. Back. No one believed it. That's why the big people don't get title reigns because you sit there and you go, eh, "The hell's gonna beat them?" Yeah, uh, it's that. I think the Raiders and uh, Viking, not Las Vegas. Yeah, it gives it gives, it gives them a chance to actually do stuff. Yeah, it gives it something believable. Um, what's his nuts? Uh, Mustafa and uh, oh yeah, Mansoor. Uh, that gives yeah. them like they can even get in there and believable like do a thing. Uh, Raw's got a solid tag team division. I mean, I think. Both brands do, and if they just let him wrestle and yeah. nothing crazy, just let it let it ride. No, Mason Dijakovic. Sorry, I can't T bar him. It's just that disrespectful. Um, they can. I mean, like they have. I mean, like, you, might well, you might as well say because if they can't drop the main, you might as well call them T bag at this point. That's pretty pretty disrespectful. I, I I like their the names that they were before. Like just yeah, give them their names back and let them go. Yeah. Yeah, um, but they can work with them. I mean, that just opens the door for actual believable oh, yeah. tag team division. Because again, like there's a reason why most big guys are only champion for like, you know, a few seconds here and there. Cause unless you're big, unless you're big cast and you know, just be a wasted tall guy. Hey, but yeah, not having a very bad like drinking problem. Can't teach. Well, yeah. and, and good on him, man. You know, he's, he's better now. Yeah, yeah. DDP. DDP right. helped him. All right. There's your free uh, plug there, Diamond. DDP is helping someone that's an alcoholic in the wrestling world? <laughs> no. Oh, you... Again, look at, Shawn, look at Shawn Michaels. He was one of the very first superstars to do the program. So, if you got Jake and Scott and like yeah. tricks, then you can Auditory. fix anything. But, yeah. So, we yeah. got uh, Eva Marie and Dewdrop. On the docket for the next, to which we kind of I mean, knew where that was I mean, going. I kind of, I kind of like the whole dewdrop. Just told even Ray, yeah, you know, the, that was good. I'm gonna pick up the doll and slap it. Around. Like, can we just actually have a match? Like, yeah. And a quick, quick sidebar on that. So, uh, Lily will continue to be part of her shtick, depending on sales. If the doll gets sold enough, uh, saw an article. Oh, wait. That. They have to sell a new shirt now. Me. Yeah. Let yeah. me in. Uh, I but, don't. I don't see it lasting long. I think at, they're at the point. I think Vince is at the point because obviously, if you noticed it, I noticed it, and then I saw an article. They muffled in um, crowd noise to get rid of the "We Want Why" chance, and that'll never go away until they get rid of the character. Unfortunately, um, it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks because I mean, you know, I'm still a fan of what Alexa is doing, um, but again, it's. It's going to be a dead end. I think it's going to be a dead end for her in, until the, the end of time because it's just one of those, you know, trying to hey. fill, trying to fill a void. I yes. know what Vince is trying to do to fill a void, but it's not working in his favor. They should um, do the world a favor, and he should just suck it up and let some a certain someone 
have creative control. Like he lets a certain someone who happens to be related to the rock and let him actually do what he was doing before Vince went and killed the whole entire thing. Yeah. Went out of his way to destroy that character. And now with new camera, he's in detail. Let him uh, come out, like let him come back and just let like like it's just that they it saves it's it right there because he can't let it go. He can't check the ego at the door. I don't say, but you do that, and guess what? All of your crowd muffling and everything like, it goes away because he'll be there. There's no more. We want Wyatt. There's no anything. It's just boom. Everyone's happy. Like we'll yeah, be happy. Merchandise sales will be happy. Everyone's yeah, I don't know happy. if you saw on um. William's uh, Twitter account, his new profile picture, it's got some kind of creepy looking something yeah. or other. Like yeah, that thing. Between the Fiend and the, uh, the, one, the one Joker, uh, I can't remember the reference to the comic book where he peels off his face. Um, but there was some kind of creepy. It looked pretty, looked pretty badass. Yeah, sorry. I'll, have to, I'll have to throw that up on the page. I'll just, just find it. But it looks something, it looks something pretty pretty creepy that right. obviously I would presume once he's let go of his 90 day no compete clause would be using so, said elsewhere. And if they say um, all the people that like and he's not like, he's not doing it on purpose but like have you like he he couldn't check his ego out the door and let anyone have control over anything which is why the attitude here was still the best anything really. I mean yeah. ruthless, ruthless aggression was still right there but I mean you know um, like one to one, you had your best business when you let people actually just wrestle and develop characters and tell stories, not just rushing through shit in 15 seconds, calling it a day. You know, yeah. so please check your ego. I still think Raw should go back to two hours. I'm a you, believer in that. Well, see, if it stays at three, if they just let them actually, like, oh, yeah, they didn't waste half, the, like, there's so many waste segments that they don't need that they really actually could like tell really good stories in that three hour but no they waste like an hour and a half of it just doing dumb shit no one cares about yeah i mean look at the crazy eyes but they're there like it's not hard stop wasting like you can let everyone actually wrestle for a few extra seconds actually tell compelling stories in the ring talk take a bunch of the talking segments out because most of them are useless you know but i don't know i just i mean all i got out of that match was was Alexa's pasty at, you know, white ass, which is yeah, that worked yeah, out good. Yeah. Um, and even yeah, I, I like how I like how uh, McMahon is uh, what I like to call savoring the flavor. In other words, just the pay per views, it's her her actual ring attire, and then everything else during like Raw and all the other stuff. Uh, you know, it, I don't know, or maybe I don't know if it's Vince thing or if it's her preference, but I think that the way they're doing that, uh, especially with. The, the ignorance of, of people and body shaming, which I don't, I don't like at all, not to go on another like side rant, but I'm kind of glad they're doing it that way. Uh, Shut up. And again, again, Vince is milking this, you know, until it, it can't be milked no more. Uh, Shut up, fat ass. Dude. That's nice. Yeah. Like, it's okay. I'm not body shaming. Call, I called him a fat ass. He's no longer fat Miller. He's now dressing. I am still a cripple like I was back then. So you know what? Some things change. Some things just get broken into more pieces. You know, it's what we do. Yeah. But body shaming really is fucked. I was just, no. Yeah, that I can't believe somebody would even uh, attempt. She, I mean, I, yeah, I, I attack her like that. That's just, I mean, she's never, yeah, I know, I know she's wrestled with, with her, her things and stuff like that, but I mean, never would I would have yeah. thought somebody would, would do that. Well, people are just shitty. Yeah. That's really what it comes down to. There's a lot of uh, people are shit. Hate. hate, jealousy, maybe. Maybe I don't know. No, yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. And the internet has made people feel very uh, safe. Because you used to try to say stuff like that, you had to say it to someone's face. And then when you said it to someone's face, nine <laughs> times out of ten, that person was going to punch you directly in the face. And guess what? You weren't going to keep doing that shit because you weren't protected. Thank you, Matt and Trey, for that South Park episode of the of the uh, safe space. That was pretty funny. But uh, moving on. No, um, oh, no, oh no, 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 no. We're not moving on before we talk about how grotesque Eva Marie took. Like that was a, and that DDT at the end that was hideous. Well, everything in that match was. Hideous. I know, but that bump at the end was like, 
Like that was a terrible, like that was one thing I wrote down. Holy bump. Like, like you've been training for how much? Like, like that was bad. Or maybe it's just me because I don't like her, but hell, that was bad. And at least Piper got to, you know, dance around and give her the finger, which, sorry, do drop. Hopefully that means that's almost over. Yeah. Can we literally have can we literally have dewdrop squash even Marie? Yeah, like seriously. Like, like squash her so the match is over in like three seconds and at the same time physically squash her. It was like bye, see you later. Adios. It was like when Batista came back and no one gave a shit. He just kind of went away and was still under contract for all those years. Well, he's off doing other things because everyone's like, eh, no one cares. Yeah. At least it was at least it was Blue Tista though. Boo Tista, Blue Tista. I mean, there was lots of different Tistas. So that was good out of it. But yes, we can move on. See, I just had to do that bump. Like, I was sitting there going, you've been training for how long? What? Uh, I can't to... wait till we get to the near the end of the night. It's like you were talking bumps, but okay. Hey, say, bitch, you had to take one bump. The whole, like, one. The whole match, pretty much. I mean, like, holy shit, Goldberg never took bumps. He still takes, I mean, he still takes better bumps than that. And the man literally spent over a decade at the beginning of his career not taking bumps ever. Like, he went years without taking bumps. Hell, he'll admit it. I mean, they remember when Gage was still, like, this big? There he is on Ron. He falls over things. Like, more bumps than I've taken my entire career until last, yeah, before last night. Like, yeah, there you go. Like, he even knows it. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it. Priest and Seamus. My big takeaway. I see that was coming. Well, yeah, but I, I just liked it. I mean, they put on good matches. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It was a very good match. I, their styles work good. And again, I was always on the Damien Priest thing just because there's something different about him. I don't know. Maybe it's just because we've had so many cookie cutter people. So that's why I'm like, yeah, I can get behind this guy. But it was a great match, which we all expected. I mean, was it like a five star? Like, no, WWE product is not. It was enough for the storyline. Oh, yeah. Say, but the WWE product um, doesn't uh, allow, I would say, I guess, is. The word for it, they're not uh like I mean, unless it's I mean, WrestleMania, you're that. not putting them down. You're yeah, I did. Uh, I did like um, Priest's digs, um, his his attire that was really cool. Um, the whole U.S. thing going on with the mixture oh, yeah. of the other ethnicity. Um, his ring gear is always good. Yeah, it's respectful towards stuff like that. Yeah, still and, not except still, for the purple. Still not on the, still not on, the, on the on the on the on the train for the the purple. You know, yeah, the I'm prince, not on no the purple one. Reject looking no. attire, but that was that was pretty on point. The prince ones, yeah. Like I was, I was remember we had the, like post mania. I was like, guess what? We never have to see them again. And then it came out that night. Like no, suddenly yeah. I felt like John Candy and Cool Runnings. I'm just beating the living shit out of the radio. Like, was, yeah. and then there he was, what a week or two ago, wearing them again. I was like. Make them go away. away. Can't you do what everyone else does for your WrestleMania gear? Hang it up and never touch a shit again. Even Taker just kept getting new stuff made every year. Yeah. If you didn't notice, but it was a good match. Um, yeah. My my big, I mean, I thought it was going to be my only takeaway. Like, look, I mean, see that one? I, I wrote one line. You can't see it, but there it is. Like right John. there. Right there. Um, it was when Graves said, listen to the impact of his head hitting that post. And then they played a replay with zero sound. Like, yeah. like, good job, Corey. Who the hell was in your ear on that one? Listen to the sound of this. Like, I know I'm deaf, but. Maybe, some, maybe somebody went to go get a cookie from catering. Hey, you know, maybe maybe it was Apollo. Quick, ass- quick side note of, of, of catering, uh, heard the stadium had to give away free food. Yeah. Because all the credit card machines and crap were not working. At least their stuff. I don't know about, I don't know how that runs with the WWE stand, but they, they had no wireless, nothing. Like at that stadium's run off of just all that. They probably, yeah, that was just crazy. Like at least the fans got something that was well worth it. Yeah. I mean, but again, it was good. I think, again, I think I said it the other day when I was talking about it and that awkward me going, I don't know. I think I said that like 9,000 times. Because normally there's another voice to save my mental void. But when I go down like deep into like I go into my inner Joe Biden, I had to. Sorry. I mean, we all saw the video where he didn't even turn towards the sidewalk. He just kept walking straight through the grass. 
Yeah, but it was a good match. Um, again, I think they're gonna. I said they're gonna drag it out. Yeah, yeah, you know they're gonna have that going just because, and they're gonna they can keep having like good matches. Like Priest, like he doesn't have bad matches with people. No, I mean sometimes another wrestler like, that just uh, another wrestler just shows up, wrestles, and tells the story while, <laughs> while he's wrestling. He doesn't need anything crazy fancy as far as a storyline at yeah. all. I mean, I mean, Sheamus really never needed that nope. either. I mean, he has the entrance, and that's about it. Yeah, he had the entrance, the ridiculous hair. I mean, at one point he had the aviators and all that, but him and Cesaro was still gold together. But I yeah. mean, so, we, so we expected it was going to be good, though. Um, I think it'll be good. And again, whatever they do with Sheamus, I mean, I'm sure he's going to be right back in there. I'm sure tomorrow night someone's going to kick him in the face. Someone's going to win a match, turn around and boosh, get their head blown off by a, a, a ginger. No offense to gingers. Um, but I think it'll be good. Because again, yeah. he can work with all, like, he can work with anyone. And the only time he has bad matches, it's not his fault when they literally have him on run. It's literally like entrance, entrance, match, commercial. Like, they have to finish it in, like, three minutes. So, of course, they're stupid. Yeah. You know, which isn't his fault at all. So, I don't see what First they do. Is- I'll see what they drag it out to, but it should be good. So next, uh, we got Mysterio's Nuso's good match. Uh, a couple slips up, slip ups on Dominic there. I thought he was going to lose uh, when he was trying to do when he hopped back in the ring to do springboard towards. Uh, I couldn't remember if it was Jared or Jimmy. Um, other than that, pretty clean match. Um, I think it could have a lot of good false finishes. Um, I was kind of hoping Dominic did a little bit more. I don't know, like it just. It, you know, his last couple live matches, it seems like he put more into it. I mean, I understand it's a large pay-per-view card. You can you have to pick and choose your spots, but I, I guess he wasn't as lucha as I thought he was last night to, compared to his other for his first couple other live matches. You think um, it, could have been, it could have been them just trying, I don't know, they could be trying to yeah, you know, separate I mean, him from it. Yeah, I, I guess, you know, with the different time constraints and stuff like that with it being a pay-per-view. I can understand SmackDown because they have, like, what, like, 10 Roman Reigns segments, like, maybe three matches. So you get a little bit more time to do more stuff. But it just, I, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. Like, I, I just, it, I don't know. I wasn't it's digging kind of it. kind of perturbed me a little bit. Yeah, like, I, was, I didn't dig it as much as I thought we were going to. Yeah. You're right. It was still a great match. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying it's not a great match. It was still... Oh, no, no. It was it was still good. Just, I don't know. It's kind of just... I don't know. So, I mean, I don't know. It did. It didn't yeah. have, like... Didn't have that thing. It didn't have, yeah. like, that feel to it. Or maybe it's just their red in their hair that's just irritating the living snot out of me. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, I see they're now almost kind of matching again. That was just weird. Yeah. It could be worse. They, they could have died, died at blue and matched with SmackDown. At least they didn't do anything... I don't know. And then you've got the hot mess that is the SmackDown Women's Championship. I, hot mess in hey, the fact. How can we, how can we, fact how fact. can we skip how bad Tiffany Haddish was? I think she called him the international, international champion. It's a, that she called Priest or Boogs and Nakamura just for the sake of oh, Boogs yeah, and true. Nakamura. You can't forget just them coming out just so we could see Pat McAfee dancing on an announce table. Yeah, Pat, Pat McAfee has definitely grown on us all. And the he's, odd. He's, and you know what? I hate to I hate to give uh, kudos where kudos is due, but a good Vince McMahon decision. Just letting Pat be Pat because you know it, you, I don't know if you noticed his first time he was a little scripted, and then they're like, eh, "Sorry, um, not we're working." Just let, we're just going to let him be him, and I, that's the best decision I think. That's probably one of the best decisions in late that you know creative has uh, made. And regardless, just seeing the look on Michael Cole's face when they actually have him on camera while he's oh, dancing there. Oh, I know. And and Cole's loving it. Like, I, I've noticed Cole's a lot more laxed and I think, and it is it is true, I think I think McAfee has made Cole a better announcer in, in, since Pat's been at the table. Like, I've noticed a little bit more lax, not as like, you know, I wouldn't say uppity or, or snooty, um, but just like, I don't know, kind Michael. of like Michael Cole, like they're, Snooty. They're oh. coming into their, they're coming into their own. Like King and Jr. came into their own over over time. So, um, you know, I mean, Pat still has a few things, you know, to work on. Oh yeah, but, um, it's it's coming along. Yeah, 
He's still a baby at it. It worked out good, but we can't go. Yeah. So you're just trying to skip straight to matches. We can't forget how much Tiffany had her sucked. And suddenly there's Boogs. I'm going, the hell is he having a match for? Yeah. And this mother ran on the card. But hey, there it was. Guitars, dancing. Shenanigans. Boogs, boogs and dressed up like, like, I don't know. His wardrobe makes me want to dive through a wall. But yeah. Or like that guy, the Seahawks fan that dove through his TV when they went for a pass at the one yard line and lost the Super Bowl. Yeah, I kind of felt like that guy. God bless that guy, by the way. And whoever decided to go for a pass at the one-yard line after Marshawn Lynch literally just ran through your defense like they weren't even there all the way down the field. Like, that was the greatest thing ever. Okay, not as good as Moron. <laughs> McAfee dancing all over God's creation. Michael Cole's just sitting there looking at him laughing. I mean, the amount of fun happening there is good. Now we can get on to Bianca and Sasha. Can't can't skip right. can't Where's skip Sasha? boobs, man. Poor Sasha. Never no showed wanted, up. No one wanted to see her anyway. I, I'm sorry. That is the dumbest. This you had you knew for eight days. Whatever the case is, <laughs> probably. But anyways, moving on. Um, you you could and and I can understand why they didn't say anything. Like they were keeping it under wraps, maybe just so no one was like freaking out. But um, yeah, just. They did not need to have Carmella come out. They could have just had the announcer go and her opponent. Hit the lights. Like DJ, done. spin that shit. Yeah, Boom. like they didn't, they didn't need to bring it out and have, Be- you know, Becky beat the crap out of Carmella. They could have just said, oh. Sasha is not here or just end her opponent. That's all they needed to do because we knew it was coming. We already knew Sasha wasn't going to be there. All the ring announcer had to say was, and her opponent, that actually would have maybe gave a five to ten minute match instead of this whole squashing, because now all the stuff that you've built up with Bel Air, I understand where they're going with it. I think they want to see if Bel Air can be a heel. I think she can be. I, I have faith in her. Uh, a lot of faith in her. Um, not trying to put the bar so high, but I think she can accomplish it. And it kind of throws her to the wolves, like, okay, hey, you need to now – Play like this character. Swim. And I think, yeah, swim or swim or sink, man. And I think she can do it. And then I mean, Vince will fire you. Don't worry, SmackDown, you'll come I out think, and try I to be a heel. Vince, Vince won't I like think it. Vince's, Vince's thought is, oh, look, Becky's back. Now I'm going to let three more go before I sell the company. That's going to be, that's his mindset. Like he's like, okay, I have one of my, you know, golden gooses back. And, you know, Whoa. Honestly, honestly, I think the smartest thing for the women's division. Championship wise, Charlotte and Becky unify the titles, have the women's title defended on both shows. They're, because that's, it's so depleted. It that really makes it bad so, for that just makes it bad for pay-per-views yeah. though. That was the only bad thing about separate brands with one major champion. It's like the so like half the roster doesn't get to do a damn thing on like the whole like main event. Well, not, the show women's roster is so okay. depleted because everyone's hurt or gone or pregnant or you know what I mean. Well, I don't think Rousey's ever coming back. They didn't I mean, fire nine hundred people. I mean, you know, you know, they could have I someone. Just, I mean, who do I mean? Just take all the people that have been in in and out of the title picture. I think what maybe half a dozen. That's that's actually good. I mean, if you utilize the ones that haven't been utilized properly and give them a shot, yes, I can understand they keep both women's titles respectively on each show. But until you get more people over, you know, with the crowd, because we're expecting our our top the top six: Sasha, Nikki, Charlotte, freaking Bel Air, Lynch. Or no, I said Becky. That's that's four. Who who else do I have here? Uh, freaking. Um, it doesn't hurt. You know that isn't her. Okay, so that, that's four I have so far. Who else am I missing? I mean, is Liv still with the company? I mean, Oscar's somewhere. Yeah, Oscar. Sorry, I meant to say Oscar and who? Maybe they, Baszler. Maybe like, Bailey's. Bailey's there, but a cripple. But yeah. Okay. If Bailey wasn't her, so we have six. Six actual superstars with that. We know what the capabilities are. We know they can put on matches. So take these people, these other women that are just sitting around. Out rolls three hours long. Just throw some matches together and see see what kind of reaction. Hey, just 
Hey, that's what they do every week on Raw. They just throw some shit together. They have I like know. a dartboard. Just... Like, who you? Who's fighting each other? You know, I mean, for hey. God's sake, they're using Keith Lee on freaking main event. Throw some women matches in there and see what what bites, man. Like, Keith Lee on there's no women's event. division at all, just in general. Keith Lee well, there is one that is not being properly utilized but yeah we have what six six women that we know about that we know can wrestle but one's injured you know one just got you know it's, i don't know it's that's, it's a hot mess that's squash though i mean yeah. oh yeah do drop you can you always use do drop i think she could be believable if you just drop the name and let her just do what she did over in the in the uk for god's sake we didn't even mention i don't think you mentioned alexa on any of your fingers Oh, sorry. Okay. With the so, gimmick. Yeah. With, with the gimmick, though. Until they fire her. I mean, that's right. He's going, fuck it. I mean, look how many other people he let walk out the yeah. door and go to other companies. I mean, you know, Punk and I'm Brian. Like, you know, I'm, I'm wondering if eventually Charlotte lets her stuff run out and goes with Daddy and Hombre. Hombre. I mean, miserable bastard. I don't know. I we'll get into my feelings on Charlotte. I know. In fact, everyone should probably already know my feelings on Charlotte. But before we get to Charlotte, there was that useless match in between. I mean, yeah. I hate to say I hate to say useless because they could do so much something so much better with Matt. That literally, that literally, like it felt like it was three minutes long. Yeah, like it took him longer to get to the damn match. That. That match was actually shorter than the Goldberg and Lashley match, which is sad. Like that much match. I mean, I'm talking short as in from bell to bell. Like that's. I know. I'm saying like that match plus Bianca and Becky combined was shorter than a Goldberg match. But that was just. I hate to say, I think at this point McIntyre has run his course. Because they just, I understand what they wanted to do with Lashley. I understand what they what they're doing, but again, now, yeah, it really did. Like they just, I mean, like they what, what storyline is what storylines there for Drew now? Like nothing. Like they could have done something good, and they just, I mean, gender and just goons and the sword. Can we just have like, I mean, less than a three minute match? Can we just have like Shanky just get in the ring, just get shit whipped again by like, yeah, you know, a couple steel yeah, chairs? I'd rather, watch, I'd rather watch 34 chair shots than uh, watch that match again. Like, and I, I, I mean, I, I give, what was it, Corey? It was Graves. I give Graves credit for trying. Yeah. To sell us, just a- try to sell us on gender, but let's break it down yeah. for you. He's a former world. Yeah, here we go. Want to know why he was a world champion? Because they were getting, because the network was launching in India, so they put his ass on there. It's funny how quick he lost it and was gone. Yeah, like not injured. Oh, he's in the U.S. title picture for like ten minutes. Like Back. gone, gone. Like let's like, for being a hundred percent honest. Yeah, agreed. That's, I mean, that's why he got the title, like at all, because it's not talent. It's not his irritating voice. Doesn't look like not because he looked like he was on all the steroids known to mankind. It was because it launched in India. You know, it's and also when he started the whole feud, you got him, Shanky, and what, what's the other guy's name? Veer. Veer, running away because he was waving his sword in the ring. Like, come on, like it's not believable. Yeah, this guy's going to decapitate you with his big ass sword. Yeah, that was the Loch Ness monster's tooth. Like, I hate to say it, but you can't make this shit up. They better figure out something something with Drew. If not, he's going to be future endeavored or job. I'd rather I'd rather oh. be future endeavored than uh, or we'll wake up one of these days. We will now, yeah. Like <laughs> WWE has come to terms with Drew McIntyre. Like, <laughs> so that coming. Oh. Uh, and speaking of jobbing, though, like I was literally ready to turn the shit off during Alexa and Eva. I'm going, no, they're not. Like, yeah, yeah, they were. 
Like I'm sort of going, what they do, what people will get open. Like, you think people are mad right now over the whole we want Wyatt thing? Like, yeah, have, have her job out to Eva Marie. The world like would have burned down. Yeah. Like, thank you. I was sitting watching it going, like, she can't even take a bump. No offense to stuff we saw at the end of the night, which I'm just. Yeah. But before we get into that, how about uh, Charlotte getting her 75th world title ring? 12. 75th at this point. What's the next closest one to her? Exactly. Yeah. Um, I have to say, I am impressed with how Nikki uh, held her own or how they were able to have her hold her own and make it believable, which. Oh, yeah. Say, but... You know, so I think it still makes, I still think it makes Nikki look strong and hopefully still keep her. I hope <laughs> it just doesn't go to the wayside. She looked. You've got, you've got something you can use for the kids. I even saw the new shirts on WWE.com. Yeah. Like you can really market this stuff keep making her believable which they are because you know when she suffered her first loss on on that one raw you know she bounced back the next week um she cut the promo saying it doesn't matter whether i win or lose they real they've really been playing that safe but don't let it go down the crapper don't don't let her you know lose the momentum or at least keep her there at that level because they could really capitalize off, off of nikki's character just like they did the hurricane like you know Maybe throw Nikki with somebody or, you know, I think maybe at this point, if you wanted to actually utilize women's, you know, tag team division, get her a sidekick. I mean, I know it's kind of rehashing the hurricane, but I think um, with, I think it can market better to the children on the, on the female spectrum and, and make it work. Like I, I you know, business aspect looking, looking at it. Um, and, you know, once uh, Natty's, back from her thing she was wrestling you could, you could you could make it believable that you know with the, she was she had a match on raw she wrestled yeah. She's back. it's just they had 12 like you know what people oh well Charlie she's the best more, she only got four more to go to tie down like, yeah and it took her about seven minutes to do it compared to his decades who's counting uh yeah. at this point Sorry, I'm over it. You could have a toaster oven come out and beat her. I'd be okay with it. Or Moppy. Where the hell is Moppy? Like bring hey, probably hanging out with Perry Saturn. Yeah, but yeah, like for love of God. Like I hate it. We all know I hate it. I don't give a damn how good she is. Um, let's see, hold on. Who are all those guys in NXT that know they're really, really good? And should be like a million time champions. Like, I don't know, like the champions of the world, like they could still work and not have to have a title. Yeah. Work with the younger guys. See what I they think, actually got. I, I think once she hits the 16, then it's gonna then it's gonna be champa time for her. She doesn't I, I think need that's what they want. Hit they, want her to, they want her to hit that 16, and then I think it, it may not even be it may not even be Charlotte's choosing. I mean, I'm not trying to defend Charlotte. Hey, you know, I'm, definitely, I'm not definitely not def defending Vince McMahon because I think it's all Vince's. I, I don't. I don't know if you guys. I don't yeah. know if you guys. You see this? Like it's right there on her face and her cosmetically, like surgically, just torn to shit face. Um, she could do what other people say and be like, "No, nah, bro. How about we actually see if there's anything else in the division besides I don't know me." Like, oh, now we're going to have Charlotte lose just so she can have two title reigns in, like, in what, two months? Like she hit, she hit 11 and 12. I think what they're going to do is I think it's going to be on and off, and then they're going to save that 16th title win for WrestleMania next year. That's my that's just uh, that's just one of my crazy – I'm like, Jesus Christ. She's had more reigns this year than, like, some people that are on the roster have had matches. Like for the love of God. Yeah. How, how did they figure out if you know, the, the whole John Cena experiment? Oh, I don't think he's ready. Well, thanks for Bruce Pritchard going, well, how the, are we ever going to know if we just keep telling him that no one's ready? Like, yeah. exactly. How about you put, like, like you did with Nikki, put the shit on her, see what happens. Yeah, and it like, worked out. Charlotte being champion 75 times. 
Like, hey, well, look, like, why do you, uh, look, look how many people they got rid of, like the Peyton Royces, like all the people that can actually like had potential and stuff. Now, nah, why? Really because we have to keep, you know, paying Charlotte, you yeah. know, yeah. an egregious amount of money. Just that's why everyone, like, guess what? She might be a really good at being a heel, but all that booing she gets isn't because of her character. Because every yeah. single one of us is going, you know, there's like a lot of other people on the roster, you know. And, doesn't have to be all Charlotte all the time, every five yeah, minutes. Fact. And we just had like if one, like the same match that we've had in the title picture, minus Nikki was in it this time. Like for how many months now? Three, two. It's been a while. Well, Nikki's Nikki's been champion for what? A oh, month and a half. The same. Charlotte and Rhea. Charlotte and Rhea. Charlotte, 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 yeah, that's been since WrestleMania. And now and now they threw now they threw Nikki in the mix. Like it's been the same yeah. match for almost a, like for over half the what half the year. Yeah. Like that's what like has nothing to do with months. her character. Like we're overseeing her yeah. every five seconds. She doesn't need it. But she's, she's one of those. She can go in there and tell great stories with all kinds of people without having to have a belt around her shoulders every five seconds. And speaking of telling stories, to give the, the same match, damn story every the, song. the match of the night. Well, we all knew it was coming. I'm, I'm so not saying that in a bad way. This this one, he really needed it. Uh, and I mean, you know, thank you, Rollins, for put for putting over Edge. Thank you because that that's the full that's the only full cir- circle story that ended the way it should have been. <clears throat> Hey, I'm not going to go back into that sore subject, but hey, um, once they brought back that entrance music, yeah, and brood bath, it's not a bloodbath anymore. Like, if you go there and you don't, you don't, don't pull the go there. Thing. Yeah, I, I, okay, I understand. Edge wanted to come back. He wanted to tell stories, but this one, he definitely needed the win. He <laughs> definitely needed it. Full circle, at least on something. Yes, am I still kind of sore that he hasn't won the WWE title? Yes, but now I can see, I hate to say it again. Okay, Vince, you got me. I understand where you're going with it. I'm over it. Great story. Good win. Overall, match of the night. I'm over nothing. Yeah. Damn it. Now, the question is, what do they do with it? That's the thing. Um, to, to answer the group text from last night, eh, you know, he's probably going to, what's Edge going to do? Probably going to wrestle Seth for another couple months. That's what they're going to do. I, I don't know, though. Like, I think. How many times has Seth been in something with someone where he's like doing his yeah. like, crazy I mean, ego, like his crazy. Extreme, car- extreme rules coming up, but then, you know, Edge has to be careful what he yeah. does. The same, though. Like, how many times has Seth with this character just. Let someone get the best of them and walk away. Like they, hell, Kevin Owens jumped off a sign and still wasn't over between the two of them after that rest. Like it, this is going to be going on for a while. I have one of they those feelings. Need, they just need to tread lightly on what they're going to do, is because I'm sure there's going to be a gimmick match at Extreme Rules with these guys. Um, they better pick and choose wisely because of Edge's triple fusion. Yes. Like, you can't... What What can you do? What would be safe? Like... Theoretically, I mean, like, let's keep table matches and ladders out of it. No, I mean... Yeah. But he could take yeah. a beating with chairs. I mean, like, he has, like, we've seen him do that. If they do yeah. it right. Um, I could see, like, a street fight or, like, a no street hold. fight. Or no holds barred because then he can kind of Street or false fight. count anywhere. Yeah. If he false count anywhere, he can really use That's anything. So I was getting ready to say you can keep him wherever the hell you need him to be. Yeah. You can set up and a good can... match, tell a good story, and keep him protected. Yeah. Because they have to use him. Or maybe, or you know what? Even even you don't come out the even... brood blast, bath, fire, the music, and then yeah. vanish after you get the win. So they have to do something with it. You know what, what I think that they could really do if they played it and they could even play it safe with Edge an Iron Man match. That there you go. Get the ticker out. That, oh, that one's oh no. That, oh no. 
I cleared off my desk. I don't know who it was. All right. I had another last man. I had another last man standing match. I could do that and do it safely. So technically, those are going to be the they're they're going to be the most safest gimmick matches because I know Extreme World. You don't have to always you know do you know. The, I just hope they don't do like a ladder match or some stupid that you know. There's no point in a ladder match. Yeah. Like there's literally no point. Yeah. In a ladder match. I mean, the way the match went last night with Edge, you know, hitting, getting his neck hit on the post and stuff like that, they they did very they they played it off very well, not overly dramatic. Um, it was very gr- a very gritty match to the point, but again, the spots that they did, you know, I trust Seth Rollins probably the most with Edge, or even if we were ever to get an Edge and AJ Styles, I think um, you know, Seth has come a long way. Um, at this point, I think Seth Seth is a very tr- trustworthy person to have matches with Edge. I think they they have great chemistry. Um, again, Rollins has come a long way. Um, you know, unfortunately, he made that goof with Sting, but I think he's grown. Um, and he can be one of those guys that I think can still make Edge look good, but not put him in any kind of predicament to where Edge wouldn't be able to wrestle anymore. Um, just like I feel AJ is probably one of the safest wrestlers. That I, I Styles and Edge, dude, that'd be great. My person, AJ Hurts, is himself. Oh, yeah. What do you know? That was trying to make Edge look really good. And now well, that Royal Rumble spear. Kaboom, sorry. Someone decided it was a good idea to let the baby cat in here. If anyone saw my face go from to... You know, just need an hour. Why can't the world just not fuck with me for an hour? For love of God. <sighs> but, we should do an episode on dream matches that could still possibly happen. But yeah, we could we could do that. But regardless, I don't know. I did like the, the meme you sent me though. Which about one? About Edge getting yeah, <laughs> about him pulling out the crossface. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For those of you who are, who are playing the game, <laughs> he's, <I> gotten, <laughs> he's gotten really dark. Yes. I'm surprised they're letting him use that. Well, we've seen other people do cross faces, though, since. Yeah, then. but like. I mean, uh, come on. The guy pulled out, like. I mean, is there is there a rule in WWE? Is there a certain amount of time that, that eventually you can use someone else's move? Well, I'm pretty I'm sure. Lam I mean, slam, yeah, lam uh, slam last night. Yeah, I say, lam true. slam. He pulled out the cross face. He pulled out the executioner, the educator. I mean, like his whole repertoire. I'm dramatic. Was, yeah, say like all of his like moves were yep. suddenly just like everything was back. I lam slam was, was there. I thought he was going to go for the unprettier at that one point. Yeah. I was like, oh, come on, come on. And then, then, and then it turned into, I don't even remember what it was. I, th- I thought he was just going to do it just, just to give a shout out to Christian, but oh well. And whoever, uh, I must say, whoever came up with uh, countering that spear into a pedigree, like kudos to you. That was good. Well, Rollins has had countered something like that. I know, before. but how often do we see it though? Yeah, how it was often? a spear. When, when it, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what hey, it was. How often do we see it though? Yeah. Like no, the that. second time. That's it. That's just let's say throw that little thing in there while we're seeing glam slams. I mean, boom, like I've seen that before somewhere. Yeah. And guess what? Whatever your name is on NXT, the one I hate, your stupid dog, too. I don't like you either. Edge did it better. Yeah. Whatever the hell her name is. Her name. We hate her. Blonde lady. She's got the idiots with her. Whatever her name is. Edge did it better. And I'm yeah. pretty sure that's like the first time I've ever actually seen him. I mean, he threw everything in there. Yeah. He still made it good. Yes. Like, so when he says he's getting dark, you mean he's just going to steal every move on the God's green earth? And like, it was good though. They told the best story. We all knew it was going to be the best one. Oh, yeah. I Andrew. mean, that was that was a way, good way to get everyone back after, you know, I mean. And then, and then, it, then when Beyond Rollins, got squashed, when, Rollins tried, when, when, when Rollins tried to get out of the crossface and Edge is just taking his head, just Molly whopping into the mat, <laughs> ragdoll. 
<laughs> Seen that before. Uh, it was yeah, good though. Best, yeah, best match of the night. But, I mean, look what we had though. Like coming into that, I mean, yeah, we had like my, after the tag title match for SmackDown. I mean, Tiffany Haddish sucked. I mean, never mind. Yeah. We had Bo- we had Boogs and Nakamura. That was good, I suppose. But match yeah, wise, yeah. I mean, a squash for Bianca, Ginger, or the hell is it? Charlotte again. I mean, yeah. you know, the crowd was pretty. Yeah. At, that, at that point, I mean, and then he came at least, out. They start, at least they didn't start off with the Edge and Rollins match. At least they were. At least they were like, "Oh, we're going to keep you. We're going to have you stick around. We're going to have you save the night, night." Because yeah, people are. Gonna, how do you know they knew that the night was going to suck? They saved that for the end. Like, yeah, like we will get them back up. Well, because we have burnt them down. No pun intended, but. It's kind of like having the fiend lose it. I'm surprised. I'm Five surprised seconds into WrestleMania. Put, I'm surprised they didn't put the Edge and Rollins match between the championship, the last two championship matches, just to keep people around longer. Oh yeah, I mean, Nikki Charlotte. I mean, like we all like, but it was a good way to have it in the middle there. Yeah. Um, but I got two words what? for you. Suck it. Hey yo. I don't want Which to talk about this. Yeah, see, I didn't even write that down. Like. If he didn't talk like it, we were so good. But hey, yo, like you have to have the grumbly thing. Yeah, I thought I thought he was gonna. I thought that well, given the ramp was kind of to the ring, the way how dumb it was. Instead of having the the what something what the the uh, drip stick two thousand, it would have been cool if he would have drove out the truck like Austin with the beer bath and just. Lit that ring up with water. That would have been better. I would have rather had that than the whole Razor Ramon thing. Yeah, the Dripstick 2000. Then they, had the, then they had to promote the New Day rock shirt that looks like the NWO shirt. That that I get, but it would have been funny. It would have been. I think it would have been more entertaining if he just would have brought the truck out and just opened up the hose and just. Oh yeah, Morrison and Miz could have sold that so much better. Just like Vince McMahon doing, you know, swimming in the ring. Yeah. Could, could have done that. The good old so days. Much. Yeah. When Vince if, you're pay, if you're gonna pay homage to something, that would right. be more appropriate. If you're gonna do it, do it. Yeah. Like Edge with the brood thing, you know, my blood's yeah. running black. Like suddenly brood bath. Yeah. See, I keep wanting to say blood bath, brood bath. Or yeah. it comes, so back up, comes back up fire. Yeah. Like I mean, you know, like if you're gonna do it, do it. Don't have a guy with like a water cooler thing on his back going, yeah. Like no, no. Imagine carrying that five gallon drum or thing on your wow. I mean, he does carry people for a living, though. So I mean, oh, true. I mean, yeah, like what? Hey, I, I was like watching him. Like, please don't let him try to get in the ring with that on his back. Oh, that was yes. That I was, saw him. And I'm like, oh, probably not a good idea. <laughs> how about no? Yeah, that was. But yeah. I don't know. I'm just over it. I want to see Morrison get to actually do something. Call me old, call me old fashioned, but for love of God, like please. Him and, Nakam- him and Nakam- Nakamura could tear it down with the Intercon- an Intercontinental Championship belt, and they wouldn't even they wouldn't even need to put the title on the line. Like, that was that was the best part, though. Yeah. Boogs and Nakamura coming out for nothing. And what do you what do you remember from last night? Boogs and Nakamura coming out. Why? I have no idea. So we can see Pat you know McAfee. I, you, know know. I, you know what I remember the most from last night? How Alexis much? Ass. How, how how much Goldberg like almost like tore something in his leg with all the ignoramus crap that was happening? I really thought he had actually injured himself when he went out yeah. and and tweaked his his knee. Oh, I saw him try to take. I'm like, like it looks like he's really hurt, but they're not. But he was like really, they would stop the like. Yeah. That was just bad. Yeah, because he took a few bumps there that were kind of questionable. And I'm like, oh, did he really hurt himself? And then you have a delayed reaction from MVP and his cane. And all of a sudden, like a three-year delayed reaction. Oh, my God. Like, whack. Step, step. Huh? Or maybe he hit a pressure point and he didn't, like, kick into blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they'll do some kind of stupid stick and roll with that. Like that should have been the first night of the match of the- it should have been. 
that should have just been done and over with because you got an old guy. Like, first of all, he's not in his prime anymore. He's so walking much. around. He's walking around backstage all night. So I'm sure he didn't stay, or maybe he stayed in his locker room. I don't know. But like, if if you've got somebody in that age bracket with whatever talent he has left, no offense. That should have been the first match of the night. That way, he's not walking around using the muscles, cramping up, what have you. Like, if you if you got something like that, that that should have been. Like how many? Like. I mean, how many times did you I mean, look, look at, at like when look, Lashley went flying that one time? Like, he landed on the side of his head. What you're yeah, looking at, yeah, shoulder yeah. crunch on his shoulder. Like, there's Graves going, could have dislocated yeah. his shoulder. And there I'm going, you very well could have dislocated. But there was ugly bumps all over that match from both of them. Yeah. Like, that's, these, like, that's like the Saudi Arabia match between Taker and Goldberg. You probably should have started off with that. Now, depending on what time frame, I mean, I know it's an eight-hour difference, um, or at least, you know, a, a, you know, I understand why they went later, because it probably wasn't as hot, so they, you know, like, I understand, because you and I understand what kind of weather that, that's like over there, um, because that, that arena, you know, obviously... Hot as balls. Yeah, but they could have, you know, they could have had something in place to, to, to make it a little less of, of things happening and almost getting killed, you know, on a jackhammer and stuff like that. I, again, I'll never get over that yeah. match. And, yeah. And neither the, of them did the, anyone favors last night either. Like, yeah. It wasn't as bad. I mean, it, I mean, it's just, it just like, I mean, at least he was taking bumps. I mean, both of them, but Lashley wasn't doing Goldberg any favors. Goldberg sure as hell wasn't doing Lashley any favors. No. I mean, he picked him up for the world's strongest slam. Like that was the best. Like that was boom. Yeah. That slam was the nicest looking thing in the whole so entire match. I'm so glad Goldberg did not try to do a jackhammer. I'm pretty sure Goldberg. that was like my biggest fear. I'm like, um, he went to he went to go ready to or last he wanted to go do it, and then Goldberg, you know, I'm like, oh no, here here comes the here comes the murder scene, and thank God, thank God, he's just like, you know what, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, at, at least he's. At least he's making those decisions now going, okay, I know my limits because that there you could tell he's like, you know what? Let's let's well, Lashley is the size of a refrigerator. Well, that too. I yeah. mean, but he probably could he probably could have jumped up pretty high for Goldberg, but I'm glad they just they yeah. let it be. But you know you know what's even worse than that match though? No, you got nothing? No, enlighten me. They had a choke out gauge which means we get to see part yeah two i think at this point um heart duh. I, think, I think goldberg takes it the next pay-per-view because he still has two more matches on this contract like I think Goldberg takes the title the, the, the next time around, and I think Big E cashes in. Lashley it's, just beats the living shit out of him afterwards? Yep, that's the only way. I, I was surprised he didn't cash in last night, though. After the whole – yeah, but after the whole Car- Corbin thing, I mean, it would have been he gets it back, boom, cash in. Like, ain't no one getting a chance. To yeah, but you – know, It would have been a good way to do it just for them having him steal it, but – they're going to have to wait till like, I was like, what? Cena could also win and then just get the hell kicked out of him by Roman. He gets the record. Big E cashes in and then Big E can go like, and they can start doing that. Like, that'd be a good yeah. one. I think, like, I think, I think Big well, E's going to, I think Big E's going to cash in for the WWE championship. It's already been teased. I don't think they're going to back. Yeah. I, just, I, yeah, think, I think it'll help. I think it'll help Big E too, because I, you know, I don't know where they're going with this Roman thing because they really backed themselves in a corner now. I mean, I, I know where they're going to go with it now that we know Lesnar's back, but I think um, to, and I don't know, like, do we do we get to see Goldberg and Lashley for a title match? And then Big E cashes in, or maybe, you know, Goldberg beats a crap out of Lashley on a roll, Big E cashes in, that gets the title off of either one of them winning and then we just have a program with Lash and Goldberg which means we don't need to worry about a championship title I mean, hey when Goldberg hey, I mean, don't you go, don't you go and say things that make sense this is the WWE fella 
Nothing makes sense. Yeah. Because you can't, you can't really like, okay, Goldberg wins against Lashley, he cashes in, rides off in the sunset, and then, you know, Goldberg and Lashley go at it because that's usually not the way Vince does things because, you know, if Goldberg, well, I guess, well, I don't know. It's Vince. But if, we're gonna yeah. talk, uh, but if we talked about it, like the second thing I wrote down on this piece of paper was that Brock, the Brock guy, we all know Brock's guy. You made, like, you found the picture. The man yeah. lives in infamy, you know. I saw him. Even with his shitty, like, cheap blue disposable mask, which, come on, guys, you can go to the front row of this many pay-per-views. I know you got a better mask than that shitty blue one. Yeah. Even I do, fella. Like, come on, man. Yeah, like, you could at least put a hat on him. But he was there. I don't know. Ah, what is happening? Yeah. He, they could have put a hat on him, and uh, even if he had the shitty blue mask, they at least could have put a hat on him. Like, here, guys, what? But then again, you can see his ham hocks of arms with tattoos, so you weren't really hiding right. it. He, has, he, has same, he always wears, like, the same shirt. I mean, like, yeah. it stands out. You notice the guy. You. Like, you yeah. just bastard. But, again, that match is better than we, like, expected. Yeah. Cena I mean, like, and Roman. Yeah. You know, I mean. It had, it, had, it had everything it needed to have. I think Cena oversold it a little bit. But with how they calculated in all the false finishes really pulled it all together. Like the first five or 10 minutes is like, okay. And then it, it gradually got better. And then again, they picked the correct spots for the false finishes. Uh, you know, you, there was a lot of times where I'm like, Ooh. Ooh. I had, and I had to like, try to explain it to uh, Hannah. So what they already figured out backstage, like well, not these two. It's, just wait, you'll see Cena open his mouth really, really loud. But he's calling it out. What does that mean? They're calling it as they're going right now. They're waiting to see what the crowd is doing. They're calling yeah. their spots dead. Which is why you saw him, get on my back. Oh, 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 oh. Like, I mean, you couldn't miss it. He's there, you know, trying to choke him out. and Jump up there, big boy. And you see his mouth very clearly openly. And then so, yeah. Like, Oh, uh-huh. like, but Cena's always been known. Like, what? Sit in the first, like, five, six rows. Like, you know, well, that's the thing. That's the thing. That, like, I didn't. I really wasn't like catching that he was. He was calling out loud because with with at that point in the match, People you're just were, so right. you're just so into it, and you're and you're looking oh, yeah. at. Oh well, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. You're just looking at the actions. You're not really looking at the match. So I, I can understand why. What it meant, though. Yeah, I you know I can understand why Cena was Cena does that because if you're already telling a good story with the match, you're not going to look at someone's mouth and see that they're calling it you're already enthralled with the action that's going on so kudos to Cena on that because i i honestly totally forgot that he does that on the fly he said that was he said that was an eddie thing yeah but uh well eddie was able to hide it a little bit better but no shit but calling it as listen to the crowd oh yeah go that way don't uh, screw your what you could have the best plan in the world for the best match ever they don't give a shit yeah just like well, Cena, Goldberg Cena, and a, Lesnar won. Stone Cold yeah, is the referee. Cena, they could have had a five-star match. No one oh, would yeah. have cared. And there was not a non a hey, 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 goodbyes the whole time. Fuck yeah. you. Ch- I mean, they were very distinctly what you could have had the best match ever known to mankind. They didn't give a shit. Yeah. They should have just both walked in there, flipped each other off, and walked away and just have Stone Cold. But again, you know, Cena, Cena and Reigns have worked with each other, so that that really, you know, worked out too. And uh yeah, but, kudos to, to Reigns with going along with as they were calling it, because um, he's come a long way. Reigns has come a long way in all aspects, to be honest with you, um, just over the last year and um, has honed his craft. Um, uh, from what I read, uh, Reigns hasn't been on yeah. the script since he came back. So, like was, you know what? That says a lot. I was explaining that to her, her last night. Well, now he's the guy. Yeah. Like, oh, no, what? He's been, the guy, he's been the guy with the company since he showed up. It's just now people are actually okay with him being the guy. Yeah. Like when The Rock comes out and his ass is getting booed out of the building standing next to you, no one Time likes to change you. something. It's time to go very far away. Everyone hates you. If The Rock can't save you. And just that whole, just the whole Nothing. build up in general to the match was, was good. good. They're both good on the mic. Yeah, like they're both good. I mean, yeah, obviously. But I mean, more people need to call it on the fly because those people are. Oh, like, yeah. They're sitting there getting booed out of the building, but they keep sticking to script because they don't know how to do it any other way. Because all the people that taught them to do stuff, like call it on, like as you're going with the crap, like are dead. Yeah. R- really. Sadly, 
So yeah, it was good. It was a good way to end it. Um, I was happy no one got involved. Yeah, that was smart. Yeah, like the Paul and now, and now we have a way to get the title off of Reigns. Maybe Lesnar picks it up and Lesnar puts someone over like he's been doing the last couple of years, which I think is probably the smart move because um, we all knew when Reigns said, well, if I lose, I'm leaving WWE. Like we already know who the winner's going to be. Um, I didn't expect Lesnar to come back. Like, and part yeah. of me is like, eh, yes, Brock, and no. The Brock guy like was me, there. Like, like me, like me, I was like 50 50, but I wasn't paying it. I wasn't paying attention to see who was in the crowd. I didn't, I didn't realize he was just hey. right out there, just sitting. I'll have to go back now. Now the peacock has, you know, rewinded fast forward. Trust me. I didn't, I was just all, I wasn't even trying to look. I just looked up for yeah. a second. Just, like, I know that guy. Yeah. You, you son of a bitch. Way to ruin it. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, and hell, maybe Brock puts over Big E. I just want to know how the hell Brock, like, you know, how, how the hell he managed to fly I, looking like you know, that. I think, you know, uh, what, what, what we could, what we could see, and I think what would be help, help, would help Big E creatively is okay, we have Reigns and Brock. Brock wins the title from Reigns. Paul sticks with Brock. Reigns gets some time off. I think Paul Heyman can really, I think Paul and Brock together could really groom Big E to that next level just because of Heyman's creative aspect and how Brock has been handling putting other superstars over lately. I think that would be a good mesh. I'm just trying to figure out how the hell Brock Lesnar, like, I, again, I wasn't looking at dirt sheets, other than attention, other things all week. How the hell did Brock Lesnar looking like that managed? I didn't hear one word about it. Like yeah. being in Vegas or anything. Like, you saw the haircut and the beard. I mean, it's not like he, he doesn't stand out or anything. He stands out a lot more now. Like, and how the, do you miss that? That's like 300 pounds of just, just anywhere that owns blue jeans. Whoever would have thought? He's been running around like Adidas track pants for I'm so many years. Glad, I'm just kind of glad they let him. I, I hope he doesn't get rid of the ponytail. I, I hope they just let him be like the. Be like, broad. Like, like gritty just your himself like he doesn't need just be broke doesn't need to shave the beard just let him be the way he is because it makes it more organic honestly yeah. let's let yeah. if he showed up like that i'm pretty sure no one's gonna try to get him to yeah like hey brock what cut your hair it's like hey vince go yourself I'm like okay yeah thanks pal like you like, shave your beard no okay good yeah. talk like Brock, you do like, hey Vince, I can rip you in half with my bare hands, literally. Yeah, like him showing up, and then Cena yeah. again after it goes off air. As well, yeah. like I'm just gonna run. What? Everyone just gets Cena to run. What? Why? Because he already invented Suplex City, bitch. Can't forget that line. God knows how, like, where it came from. Like, I'm sure it was just one of those one-liners in Brock's head in the middle of just being pissed off at everything. So yep. like, city, bitch. And look what it turned into. T-shirts for every city that they went to. I mean, that was a big thing. But I don't know, yeah. and then there's the footage afterwards. Like, nope, John didn't run. He, he, said, oh, he said, oh, yeah, I'll take like 19 more German suplexes. After speaking, the match. Of, speaking of shirts like that, they, I, I see the new Becky Lynch shirt is up and they have Las Vegas. If McMahon really wants to capitalize, they should actually make WWE.com on WWE.com. You should be able to customize. And that's what they should have done with the Brock Lesnar shirts. I know they had Pittsburgh and I know they had Philadelphia, but they should allow you to customize it to your hometown. They would sell so much more. Yeah. Like, uh, that'd be cool. I'd give you that. But Brock being back. I mean, that's a good thing. See, yeah. taking another ass whooping. Good thing. Brock guy being up in the front row. Good thing. That guy crying when it, Punk came out like that was just that's otherworldly. Like he's he's made the yeah. list. There's Brock guy. There's the black the, the guy after Taker lost. It. After yeah. Taker lost, I mean there was that the Miz girl looked like she was literally like trying to light him on fire with her like eyes and her soul. I mean she was pissed. God bless her wherever the hell she is right now. I'm probably still pissed off as well. The Miz, but that's a good pay per view. I mean I just don't know. I don't know. Just let Brock be Brock. I was just all, he wears jeans. Like, that was literally my exact words. And what the hell? The jeans, he's got his boots on. <laughs> he's like, fuck it, I'm here, Brock. 
Nobody Cowboy got, Blues and shit kickers. Got off. He like got off of his private jet, got to the arena, didn't change, flung people around, got left. Yeah. You know, said bye to Vince, walked back into his vehicle, went back to the airport and got the hell out of there. Went back to Saskatchewan and got back on top of his wife. With Coors Light. With Coors Light. <laughs> Not Bud Light, because they ain't paying me. Just, mm. Like, what? Stop talking. Actually, that one, that's what, I think Dana White's right there, too, going. Because, you know, he had to put the belt back on him. Just, Jesus Christ. What? Just stop, 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 stop. There's Joe Rogan just laughing through it all. God bless Joe Rogan. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, that didn't save the night because there was so much stupid. But, I mean. Yeah. It's still good. Like most of us, like gender, again, we all know what, like all the dumb stuff that was going to happen. Yeah. But, I mean, that last match was good. Edge and Seth was great. I mean, we all yeah. knew that we all knew that was going to be great. Though, I mean, if you're surprised by that, I'm I sorry. For you. I would have. I I just honestly think like Edge and Rollins should have been the next to last match. If you're going to properly build it up, if you're going to get people to stick around, yeah. Actually, should have just uh, put Goldberg in them first, and then kept the rest of the order exactly the same. <laughs> I mean, really, put them on first, so we could like see RK Bro, like to build everyone back up after that. Then piss us all off with Eva, but then bring us back to Priest and Sheamus, and then piss us off. Like, they, they, don't do me like that. Yeah, yeah, I was saying you kind of froze there. Yeah, that's unstable, my ass. But like that would have been a good way because they just went back and forth. But it was a good one otherwise. I mean. Yeah. It wasn't as abysmal as last year's. Yeah. Well, you and me were sitting here just going, are we done yet? I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, it, they played it smart to make people stay up and watch. Latest. Because I'll I tell you what, if the, you know, if the, if the Edge and Rollins match would have been on earlier, I probably would have just would have watched the main event after the fact the next morning. But, it was on a Saturday. I and you know what? Like, I'm just gonna throw it out there. I kind of like that pay per views are on. Uh, this pay per view was on a Saturday. Yeah, if you're gonna keep me up until in almost midnight, the yeah, least you can right. do is have it on a Saturday. And, and I'm I'm interested to see the viewership that they had the pay per view on a Saturday. Like, if it's more, if it's better numbers on a Saturday, like I'd be all for it to be honest with you because. I got to wake up Monday and I got to go adult. Like it, it was actually kind of nice to, you know, not have to worry about that. I was only going to get like five hours of sleep last night. Don't worry. Same. That's all I got. I feel you. I mean, that was, that was again, ballsy of Vince McMahon to, to do it during, you know, Thank you. yeah. Who won? I didn't even get a chance to. It's the hell out of me. I don't know. I didn't see anything. Granted, yeah. I barely got to look at anything, but. My coffee was brewing, but I'm up. Yeah, I, I would, I would, I would not mind pay per views being changed to Saturdays. But then you got the fact that AEW's pay per views are on Saturday, so well, as long as you don't have them on the same dates. Oh, really? I guess really yeah, I guess it wouldn't really would have matter then. <laughs> really, go head to head. Yeah. Except pay per view yeah. you'd never be able to tell because like so many people have Peacock that they can see all of them and it wouldn't count as a pay per view buy. So those numbers are always going to be skewed no matter what. But I mean, just to be able to just go off the viewership, just in general. Yeah. yeah. We know someone will find some dumb thing, but ooh, I don't know. I want to know who the hell still pays for a full amount for a pay per view. If you if if that's one of you out there, America, you're dumb. Just Peacock's like what ten bucks. I don't think it's like 12 bucks or something. I don't know. I get it free with my internet package, so. It's like 12 but, uh, bucks. The last time I paid for a full paper, dear God. As a matter of fact, let's just, just out of curiosity because it killed a cat once. And nothing can kill me. They tried. It didn't work. Let's see. Do, 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 
do to do. I got a page for all that. Jesus Christ. Okay, like, where are you? Where are you? Five thirty. It, it's ten dollars and sixty nine cents before ten. Ten sixty nine a month. For all you doing math at home. So it looks like Pacquiao won by split decision. There we go. Bout, the bout was scored 115-112, 115-112, 113-114. One, I mean, that was close. Must have been a good fight. I want to see if I can find it then. Yeah, I, like Pacquiao. Boxing. I like boxing when it's all the rounds, it's close. Like I don't like watching Floyd Mayweather just, fight. You know, I can't. I can't pay for something like i would probably go to like arugas or somewhere that would have it like a lot of the ufc stuff like i go to arugas for uh or or boxing in general which is very few far from depending on who's fighting just the fact that i cannot pay a hundred dollars if i don't know if it's going to go 12 full freaking rounds fact like sorry sorry not sorry never sorry oh and by the way uh my quick rant um yes that john cena uh homage to the Mario shirt thing. I'm sorry. I'm not going to pay $1,000 for a for an NFT package. Sorry. Vince, I just stop. Stop trying to be a money-hungry piece of crap. I buy the shirt, but I'm not paying $1,000. I don't care what comes with the package. I just want the shirt. That's it. Like, and you can't, you can't, I already looked at shop. It's not, it's not sale individually. You have to buy the thousand dollar package, which by the way, last time I checked, there's like 462 of them left. Sorry, not paying a thousand dollars. I mean, I know part of it goes to like charity or whatever, but like, just can't you just sell the shirt and take part of that and put it towards charity? I mean, I donate to other stuff, but for the love of God, just. I agree with that sentiment. Shirt, like that's cool. Like, as soon as I saw the shirt and it had all the 16 world championships on, I'm like, yeah, Cena's not winning. But, again, as you said, it could have been a one-off shirt, but we already knew it was happening. But um, Hey, I'm just saying, you guys are all, uh, you, hey, I saw a text in there where you guys were saying Cena because of the shirt. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, and then I went on shop to see if it's on pre-order. I'm like, well, that's out the door. Sorry. I mean, maybe – you, it'll probably happen after the fact that all 400 idiots that want to spend a thousand dollars or have a thousand dollars a blow. Um, then all of a sudden it'll go up on shop and I'll just be like, well, I'm glad I waited. I don't have a thousand dollars to drop in to, to anything like that. I don't know anyone that does. Yeah. No, but, uh, and kudos to, uh, John Cena on SmackDown when he you know, had to hurdle over the thing because you know camera and cable whatever because yeah you know, moron was in his way on the ramp and then I do appreciate him wiping his brow off as he was halfway done sprinting towards the ring last night. No, no, what? That's the longest you've ran in a very long time, probably. You know, that's that was a that was a hell of a ramp. Yeah, entrance way, whatever the hell you want to call it. That was a man. That man was running. It's like, what, the one, the last one in Florida there? Yeah. yeah. Ha, ha, ha. And you watch the WW24, and like, takes three steps, you're like, yeah, but I only have one of those in me. Why? Because the ramp's like 700 years long. Yeah, that's what took up half of that WrestleMania, it was just everyone trying to get to the damn ring. But, uh, but in other camera people <laughs> seemed to suck last night, too. Yeah, bad. dear God, my six-year-old probably could have got better angles. Like, that was... That was, that was pretty funny, though, uh... Rock one, cameraman zero. Uh, how, how the hell are you get in the way of a big, big ass person like that? I mean, dear God, you, you can see him coming from a mile away. It, that was probably my favorite text of the whole night that I sent out. Yeah. You're all what? Rock one, cameraman. It's kaboom. I'm just looking at him. That mother just fell down. To you. There's Hannah going. Actually, if, if we're going over favorite texts of the night, uh, hold on. John Cena. Uh, <laughs> Paul Heyman looks like your wife when, when your wife meets your girlfriend. Thank you, Dan Stevens. That that was that was like just all of a facial emotion from Paul Heyman. It sums it up when when your wife meets your girlfriend. Like God, God bless you, Dan Stevens. That that one made my night too. And then you 
then you responded, well, the one hasn't met the other. That that was good. Unless yeah. it's my, unless it's my ex-wife. True. No, at least yeah. so that's cleared up. But I'm like, yeah, yeah that's nice <laughs> Thank you, Heyman, for selling that one off. Knock uh, your boys back. The boys are back in town. I wonder, you know, either Heyman sells are really good or Vince didn't tell Paul anything. Like, I don't know. Like, again, with when Brock broke the streak, like, I, you know, and then you, I don't know if you ever, I'm, I'm pretty sure I shared it with you, that shoot interview when he was talking about. What you know, if, what, who the hell was going to stop him? Yeah, like I, I don't know. Like it's just, I, it, that's like the number one conspiracy theory in my book. I don't. You can take all this other political conspiracy theory crap. I'm sorry, that one there. After watching that shooter interview, I'm like, oh god, this is like, okay, the top wrestling conspiracy theory. I shouldn't. Hey, all the political, like, hey, all the political conspiracy theories we heard for years just they're coming to fruition in front of our eyes. Yeah. Guess what, everyone? I was right. But you just—you just—you'll never know. But and the only—the only people that will know is Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar, Vince McMahon, and Undertaker. I—I I, I don't even know if, if H, you know, even maybe he doesn't even know. Like that, I. It was a pretty, pretty tight circle on that one. Brock Lesnar does what Brock Lesnar wants Lesnar to do. Does. Yep. And Brock Lesnar wants to do it. But that would be great if they didn't tell. So that was just a genuine just I say I I don't know. Like you can never tell. Is Paul really selling it really good or did, did he just not know? Second that if you go back and rewind that at when Brock's music hits and just watch all the facial expression from Paul from beginning to end, like you're just like, oh damn. He was across the spectrum. Yeah. I, and that's really that, him. That was, like that was about as good as as the office. No, 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 no! Please, God, no! <laughs> you know, like that was that was a good, but good old Hammond. I don't know what do you do now. I Paul? I don't know. Like I think I think what would probably be be the best for Paul in that storyline is to keep both of them level-headed going into the match. I don't think you should really do any kind of backstab angle. Let Heyman be neutral. I think that's the safe way to, to, to you know, yes, I think but... Paul's, Paul's going Paul's gonna to play that, you know, the beggar, I think, at this point, to a point. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but, I think he's... But no matter what, if he plays neutral, I mean... What, what do you do? Like, what, the, what, say no matter what, if he picks someone, like if he picks sides, he's screwed. If he plays neutral down the middle, I mean, then if you know, it's safe. Roman loses, you know, you know disrespect, like they'll pull the whole you disrespect, da 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 da, and you know, fire yeah. him. I mean, like there really isn't like, no matter what he does, I mean that's like. Yeah, I think if they if the, if Heyman plays neutral, I think that's the safest, the safest uh-huh. bet, and, and I think they'll. And you're going to get a lot of SmackDown segments with Paul going back and forth, back and forth from Brock's locker room to Reigns' locker room. I think that's, I think that's probably the way they're going to play it. I, I would play it that way just for the fact that you have two superstars that have had the same advocate, but Paul could really bring this story together. Paul is that key. It's not the fact that it's Reigns versus Lesnar. It's the fact that Paul's in the middle, and that's how you tell the story. I think that's how they're going to tell the story. There's not, there's not going to be a lot of back and forth on the microphone between oh, them two. Duh. You know, what the hell is Brock going to say? And that's that's the perfect scenario. Like you've got two guys that don't, I mean, Reigns is coming to his end with stuff like that, and I'm sure he'll talk crap. And Lesnar's just going to stand there and go, "I'm going to kick your ass." But Paul's going to be that bridge to speaking for Lesnar in a sense of informing Roman of how Lesnar is or is going to be based off of working with his former advocate. But I think P- Paul Heyman is going to be that, that gap that brings that, that story, you know, together. I, and I think that's the way sh- they should play it. I mean, we all know, don't give Brock a microphone for the love of God. Actually, 
Unless, unless Brock might surprise us. He might have a couple one hey. like stuff that, you know, we didn't know, you know. He's full of one liners. Roman Reigns would make missionary style seem so funny, you know. Um, There's nothing funny about it. I'm just saying, like, the marriage personal. 101. But I just. I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. I think Paul's going to be the, 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 the key to that. Story. Let, let, just let Lesnar talk. Screw it. We're already. Just let him talk. Yeah, he came back with, maybe, maybe, maybe Lesnar just being himself actually might go over well. I mean, Brock being himself. I mean, Brock getting a live mic when ready go. I mean, again, Fox is a little bit more edgier, so I, <laughs> like ready go. Yeah, and there'll be Vince. What you take the like, headset let, off? Let there. us know what you might say so we can have the the, the beep button ready. You know because. Uh, Maybe that's what they do. Maybe they just let it let it ride. You know, bitch, I'll kill you. Uh oh. Yeah. Someone was. I mean, I mean, hell, we had Goldberg yelling, "I'll kill you" last night. I mean, I mean, maybe Lesnar will yell at Reigns about pulling a horseshoe out his ass. I don't know. That'd be cool, or something along the lines. Or pull a suplex out his ass. I don't know. That'd be cool. That'd be funny. I show up and just. It's just going to be double leg takedowns and fists and. Yeah. Now then. Roman and I mean, no offense to Roman. I mean, if they just really, I mean, his ground and pound is suddenly going to look really, really embarrassing because Brock. Oh, yeah. Actually, I've watched it. But <laughs> Hammer fist from hell, I believe, is the uh, exact words that Joe Rogan used at UFC 100. Yeah. As he was just, you know, playing dude's head like a fucking bongo. Like Roman, your ground and pound is about to be embarrassed by a guy that's like, He's he's going to take the definition of Molly Wap to the next level. He's actually, I mean, it's going to be like a Hulk at the end of the, you know, the first Avengers with Loki. Just, you know, just he gets back yeah. up. It's going to be good. But uh, uh, a, quick, a couple other quick notes. So, Money in the Bank is going to be Las Vegas next year. Saw that. Um, Looks like 2K22 got pushed back to March. Uh, we've seen some of the graphics. We got more of the trailer. I'm glad uh, 2K's taking their time on it. Then I saw a meme with uh, J. Jonah Jameson. Um, somebody threw, uh, threw a comment out there like they do know 2K23 is going to come out the same year. And then you have J. Jonah Jameson laughing, you know, from the part of the movie of Spider-Man. Um, but no, I'm glad they're taking their time well, and also the fact that they've what 53 superstars now to delete out of the system. Um, kind of sucks because I was was hoping um, that the fiend would still be in there because the train wreck that 2K20 is. Um, that's the only I think because I don't know if 19 had the fiend in it or not. I'm out to go check and just download 2K19 for like 20 bucks just to. Uh, but then again, the controls on that are, uh, I don't know, like, and I'm sure somebody in the creative community, when the game releases, will probably make something. So at least we'll get, I'm just, somebody will take their time and create all these superstars. Cause I, I like the community share stuff still. I hope that, I hope they keep that kind of stuff. Well, you're on, uh, what the hell you're on, uh, the fiend stuff. It is amazing how him and Stroman they invented. Yeah. Years. Oh, how the times have changed. The hell, he was in the main event of a pay per view and then can 10 yeah. minutes later. So. I'm, su yeah, I'm surprised no one has started a petition about bringing Mr. Rotunda back. Like, you're hearing the chance. You're hearing the chance. Like, come on, Vince, wake up. Hey, wake up, Vince. Hey, maybe he's hanging. He's, maybe I'm, he's I'm telling you, I'm, and I, I'm telling you right now, like, Rotunda goes to AEW, game over. Like, WWE lost. All these haters are like, oh, well, they're sorry when they're going to run out of money. Sorry, Tony Khan's not going to run out of money. It's going to it's going to be a while. He's if you if you people actually knew everything that he owned. Yeah, like he's, he's never uh, running out of money. Oh, uh, it's going to be like Ted Turner and WCW. No, no, sorry, um, Tony this Khan. Is, makes this is their own personal money. Like, yeah, Tony Khan makes Ted Turner look like Tony Khan's got a hundred bucks and Ted Turner has a quarter of a cent to his name. Sorry, there's a big difference. No, like Ted, you take a penny and cut it in quarters. One quarter is what and, Ted Turner. And Ted Turner used the company to. Oh, yeah. To like, yeah, you know, 
and then the company got bought out by AOL and then they killed it. This is all, they're just house money. Like they, yeah. they're not going anywhere. Suddenly they're not going to, you know, not own like Wembley yeah. stadium and the Jaguars and, 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 and it just keeps going. Yeah. Like, what are they on? Everything. I don't know. Like, they're not running out of money. Guys. Yeah, they make acquisitions every year and turn hand over fist yeah. because they know how to invest their money and they know how to invest in superstars and super and give superstars creative control oh my god maybe they should use that formula creative it's control. like it's it's like when tom brady kept taking cuts in new england like it's called smart business decision as long as you keep them happy i'm sure if 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 you let him go and you know smojo joe for instance he was brought back a little less money but joe likes being with the company like if you can appease your employees and keep them happy and and aspects and, and restructuring thing as long as you keep those people happy oh look at that you have a good product if if you give them a little bit of creative control and something and just saying like you, know, you said it yourself if this would just let it go and, get, and what it gave bray the whole shtick oh my god raw would have better ratings People, you know, people would want to watch it. There's these people. I mean, he gave Rock complete creative control. I mean, I know that was like 10, 15 years ago, but obviously that formula worked. That's that's how you put WCW out of business. Like attitude era stuff. I mean, you don't need to bring you don't need to bring edgy stuff back. Just let these superstars do what they do. And if it doesn't work, I mean, listen to your crowd. Just like call them uh, call it a match during the match. You know? For the love of God, you know, Miz screwed up on the freaking diva search one time and he, 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 he let him do what he wanted wanted to do and he gave him a shot. He screwed it up. Well, he didn't screw it up the next time. Uh, I could just imagine the conversation when he go. Like, just go around the back of the damn butts. Go out through the crowd and just leave. What? I just imagine yeah, well, the conversation he had with Vince the second he go. Let's say, like, what was let's, that, Miz? Think or swim in those five to six years. Just let him do it. If they sink, bye. You're firing people that haven't sunk. You should think if you got rid of people that actually did wait. Like you actually finally got rid of Jake Atlas. I know I've said his name a million times. They thought someone finally listened to me. How the hell you got rid of all that? Hey, Eva Marie needs her big paycheck. Goldberg needs his. No. Cena's always going to get money from the company, so he doesn't count. Well, no, and I mean it's Cena. But uh, uh, do, do, do. but to be be honest, I I don't I don't think I mean Cena makes more off of merchandise than anything. Yeah, you know I don't think I don't think money was being thrown at Cena for him to come back. Uh, I, I as a lot as a lot of it is what people think. You know, well, to him I don't think it's like he's no because he's he's making money off of other stuff and he's still he's still one of the top merchandise sellers. Yeah. Like, he doesn't, you know. Hey, I'm all like, his is all house money that he's put into this. Yeah. Like, like, it's like, here's all your, like, here, what? You make more money than I'm anyone sure he in makes the company. More royalties than he does a, a contract <laughs> anyway. Now, now, I mean, if we're going to get into money, I don't want to know how much they paid Brock Lesnar, but I mean, at one point, he was working like 10 days a year. Where the only time you, like, you only see him 10 times. And he was making like 10 times more than the next closest person to him on the roster when it comes to yeah. money. I don't, I said, it's got, it's got to be Lesnar goes over on Reigns, Biggie cashes in, and then you're, then you back yourself at a corner, give some Reigns some time off because Lesnar's only going to be contracted for, I don't know what, what was his last run? Like six appearances? Something like that? It's going to be some shit if he, so when they came back and actually like did a run, eh, well, I guess I cannot hate people for a few days. Yeah, fine. Yeah. I don't think I don't think Roman's going to go over on Lesnar. I I just don't see them doing that. I mean, 
Roman's, I said, I think Roman's going to hit that year and some change mark. Lesnar's going to take the belt off him because Roman's been going at it. I mean, all year, full year, like yeah. here in what, 10 days? Like, yeah. he, he needs some time off. I mean, give the man's body a break. I mean, uh, for God's sake, leukemia can come back at any moment. Thank you. Know? Granted, he doesn't really do anything. Like he has like one match every like yeah. every month. So then those talking segments are all good. Make it worth it. Like I don't know. I don't know. I just know they paid Brock probably way more money than anyone else on the roster to come out in his shit kickers and jeans yeah. and throw John Cena all over God's creation again. By the way, shout out to John Cena's bald spot. Just shave your damn head, guy. Or. Like, why is he having, why does he have his hair like that? Because his bald spot's that big. Like, I mean, there's hair clubs. I mean, he can get plugs put in there. Could. But shout out to John Cena's bald spot. Yeah. That thing was superstar like, of the night. I mean, that thing, like, it just it got bigger as the match went on. Like, yep, his hair is moving. Why? Bald spots. It's grown an inch. It's getting bigger. But it was a good night, though. You know, I don't know. Let's we'll see how much they don't screw it up. But there was a whole lot of waste. But, you know, at least Edge and Seth told a good story. They didn't ruin Cena and Roman by putting some idiot in there that had no point being there. Yeah, true. They just let him do that. I mean, Nikki tapping out. I mean, we're here. God, I hated that part of the gimmick, though. Like when they switched to the old Yankee, like the LED one. We're here. Like, bitch, you ain't blowing out an LED. Come on, man. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. You can blow out flames. Can't blow out an LED light. And you, when you flip the switch, congratulations. Like, that was done. But, God, that was so good. We'll see what they do, though. I don't know. But they had enough money to pay Eva Marie as much as she wanted. And I get Brock coming back because at least he can wrestle. Yeah. If you give him a microphone, gold will happen. <laughs> gold <laughs> will happen. Sooner or later. Especially if Roman's not scripted. So, I mean, it's just going. Yeah. Some, something will come out of Brock's mouth. Something really, really, really good will come out of Brock's mouth. Yeah. I guarantee it. Why can I not wake up? I got a cup of coffee. I got one of these in me. I have to drive to Raleigh tonight so we can go see Alanis Morissette, which means I'm not going to bed until like one, two in the morning. It's a good thing I'm awake. I'll probably watch Takeover tonight. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'll... Depending on what time it starts. I think it's what, seven, eight? Something like that. Yeah. I stopped paying attention once. I wish they would points. start. To, I wish they would. Uh, it, yeah, well, take, Takeover is probably going to be what, maybe two hours? I don't know what the full card is. I don't know why they started last night so long. I mean, late. They knew what they had to deal with. Like, you knew how long you guys were going. No way in hell that thing went that long. Don't start, I don't know why they just don't start at six. Well, on Saturday, I mean, no. I mean, well, yeah, I can understand that. I'm saying, but like six o'clock, it's not like most people aren't working. So you don't have to start at eight o'clock and then do a damn near four hour pay per view. So I'm sitting there going, yeah, it was it was rough until we finally got to the edge match. Oh my god! Like it was like I mean it wasn't like WrestleMania and like over in California there, in San Francisco in Levi Stadium out in nowhere near San Francisco, California. Yeah, like I mean that thing went like that was like egregious. Or the one in the Superdome there where like I mean they did some WrestleManias or like six, so seven crazy. hours there. I mean, the Superdome brothers, yeah, you fucking idiot. Everyone already hated you. Let's go and just make it even worse. Yeah. Thank God he got it right this year. 
He got booed out of the building dressed like a pirate. But I mean, I want you to sum up WWE in 2021. Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania dressed up like a pirate while getting booed out of the building. That sums up the company in a nutshell. God have mercy on their souls. Yeah. It was a good one, though, if I yawn one more time after this. I put my head through a wall. What the? I feel the burn, not in a Bernie Sanders way or like a general awards thing. Just Sorry, I was gonna I was gonna get up and do a DDP yoga workout this morning. I'm just gonna do this afternoon. Please feel the burn. See, it's WWE's fault. Thanks, Vince. Yeah. I'm up to the uh, diamond cutter every day. I can't wait to do the double black diamond. That that's this week. Oh boy. I could better you than me. I ain't making that. I, I, you know, I was, I was doing fat burner energy back to back, for, you know, which was like 50 minutes, like adding the 10, 15 extra minutes. Like I've gotten used to it now, but dear God, dear God, man. Yeah. I don't know, but I think we'll cut it there. Yes, sir. It was good. Again, it didn't completely suck, but. There was some, uh, why are we even doing this moments last night that yeah. like the Drew and Ginger thing just didn't even need to happen. Mella not coming out at all and wasting five minutes just with her getting there. And, you know, Tiffany Haddish didn't have to do anything there. Boogs and Nakamura can stay just as well. Yeah. The obnoxiousness of Pat McAfee, that can stay. But like as bad of a cluster as we thought it was going to be, but... Moral of the story is at least Alexa didn't have to job out to. Yeah, I'm so glad that did not happen. I wonder if uh, I wonder if uh, Piper becomes the Lily. That'd be weird. Not like complaining, that'd be weird. You could fit though. Yeah, because you can't really have Alexa go from Alexa to Lily because she's already does her like creepy thing already. So. Mm. We'll see, though, how long they drag out Dewdrop and Eva not being on the same page. Yeah. I have zero faith in it, but how they keep throwing Eva Marie on TV. Hell, they threw her a match, and she still can't even take a bump. Yep. Looked better than any of the Goldberg Lashley bumps, but... My six-year-old can sell it better. fact i show more pain than mike goldberg did on his bad knee getting hit with a cane i show more pain that's trying to get off the damn couch just saying but uh yeah we'll do this again later well, until next time you sir enjoy your concert do you enjoy whatever you're gonna do enjoy your yoga hanging stuff what the whole thing you know who else is hanging stuff the taliban Fact. And we'll leave it at that. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.